Hello, Keith Morrison here with the Honorable Dr. Mark Garneau, who is set to become just the first Canadian to travel to space when he will fly to space on board Space Shuttle Challenger with six other crew members this October 5th on Shuttle Mission 41G. Mark, there were five other candidates who were being looked at to be chosen for your position in this mission. Why do you think it was you that was chosen? Well, like you said, there were five other candidates who could have been chosen for this mission, and luckily, I came out on top. I think that each one of these people would have been great choices for this mission, but I'm very ecstatic that I will be the one who gets to take part in this mission. As for why I was chosen, I think that they were looking for a man who would be able to carry out all the mission, all the experiments needed in space. Now, I believe that my background in engineering physics and my doctorate in electrical engineering, along with my experience as a combat engineer in the Navy, will allow me to efficiently perform tasks that are asked of me on this mission. I believe that my experience and background was heavily looked at by NASA when they selected me for this mission. I have also been keeping my body in great shape, which will help me be prepared for the upcoming mission. Your role on this mission is as the payload specialist. What exactly will you be doing during your eight days up in space? Well, Keith, in the eight days that I will be up in space, me and my crew will conduct a number of experiments. Now what I will do is conduct about 10 specific Canadian experiments that have to do with space sickness, along with experiments on the space vision system designed to provide our eyes for the Canada. Now, I'm not going to bore you with all the details, although I could go on for hours. But along with all these experiments, I will also supervise the, the operation of many televisions, from one to, ranging from one to six televisions. As many of us know, you will be the first Canadian to ever travel into space. This is a great honour, but how important do you think it is for Canada's participation in the space program? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, Keith, I think that it is very important. I believe that my mission could have a large impact on the Canadian space agency. Canada has been a leader in non-manned space missions since the very beginning, as the third country to put a satellite into space. And I hope that my mission will also put Canada as a leader of, non -man of manned space missions. It is important that our country participates in, the fu in future space programs. How do you think can Canadians will be affected by your mission and what do you think it means to them? Well, Keith, I believe that finally having a Canadian in space will inspire many people in our great country. I hope that it gives pride to many Canadians out there, and I hope that I can inspire many to follow my path as a Canadian traveling into space. Mark, most astronauts take your years to prepare to go into space. You had a shorter training period than anyone in NASA history. How, how did you train and prepare for the mission so quickly? Well, as you said, it was a very short training period and we only had eight months. Basically, there were two parts of my training. In the first four months, we finalized all the experiments that we were gonna conduct in space. And in the four months prior to the mission, we learned how to be astronauts. Basically, that means we learned how we will eat, sleep, and carry out other tasks while we are in space. How do you feel about going up into space, and what does this trip mean to you? Well, being named for this mission means a lot to me, as traveling to space has been my life ambition, and I will have the opportunity to carry it out now. As for my feelings, I am very excited to go on this mission, although I am also feeling nervous. However, I have trained hard for the opportunity and I am confident that my crew and myself are going to execute this mission with great success. How does your family feel knowing that you're going into space? Well, my family, like me, was absolutely thrilled when they heard the news. My kids were especially happy because I brought them to Disneyland in Florida prior to this mission. As for my wife, she was absolutely thrilled that I was going to have this opportunity, but although she was very happy, She's also a little bit worried about me. Alright, thanks Mark, and enjoy your time up in space. Good luck. Thank you. That was Mark Garneau here joining us. He will be the first Canadian to go up into space. And that's a wrap. Thank you. I am Keith Morrison. And back to Toronto.